A missing person case that dates back 15 years. Rhonda Johari was 42 when she disappeared in 2009. Her family has waited and waited for a break in the case. And tonight, they are again asking for any and all information that might provide some answers. For Rhonda Johari's family, that anguish haunts them. It was February 11, 2009, when 42-year-old Rhonda Jahari was last seen at her apartment on Chiawassee Avenue in Fenton. She was wearing a blue bathrobe. Today is the day. Now is the time. Bring her home. NBC 25 interviewed Rhonda's family weeks after the disappearance. A month and it's like still no answers. You know, it's just freaking us out. That month turned into years, years without answers and most importantly, closure. When someone dies, you know, you mourn, you know what happened to them. We mourn every day, but we don't know what happened to her. Every day, Sam Jahar questions what happened to his sister. Rhonda was a mother to a young daughter at the time. Her daughter wasn't at today's news conference, but Rhonda's sister read a statement from the daughter who is now 21. When I turned 13, I hoped she might show up. I cried all night when I realized she wouldn't. The same happened on my 16th birthday, and then my 18th, and then my 21st. I hoped she might show up for graduation or when I got into college. Through the years, there have been several tips sent to the Fenton Police Department and also the family. A new detective was assigned to the case last year, and even the Western Michigan University Cold Case Program is working with the police department on this investigation. Thinking that maybe, you know, that slight hope that she's still alive out there. We need your help. Please, somebody knows something. Come out, come forward and tell us. Please, let us get some closure. Fenton police say they are connecting a lot of dots in this case. They are asking anyone and everyone to help end what they call a 15-year nightmare. Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $2,500 for information that leads to an arrest and conviction. If you, you can find details on how to anonymously submit tips if you visit MinMichiganNow.com.